Welcome to part two, KDP Rocket's keyword search feature. In this video, we're going to explore the keyword search feature and discuss what it can do for you, as well as how to best use its information for your book. So let's begin by doing a keyword search. First, click the keyword search button here or here. This will bring up a search box where you can type in an initial keyword phrase, book idea, or just a general description. Once you click Go Get Em Rocket, KDP Rocket will get to work finding other book idea suggestions and keywords based on what you typed in. It does this providing three types of keyword suggestions. The first is Amazon's direct suggested searches. These are popular terms that people have typed into Amazon or are phrases that Amazon thinks you'll want to type in based on known market research. You can tell which keywords are Amazon's direct suggested keywords in KDP Rocket because they will automatically have the number of competitors, Google searches per month, and estimated Amazon searches per month numbers filled in. In order to get the average monthly earnings and competitive score, you'll need to click the Analyze button. The keywords presented here are the equivalent of what you would get by going to Amazon and doing a Kindle search for that same term and seeing what Amazon suggests in the drop-down box. The next group of keyword suggestions are called Amazon A through Z suggested keywords. Like the first group of suggested keywords, these two are popular terms that people have typed into Amazon. However, to get these, KDP Rocket took your initial term and added an A to the end of it and recorded the Amazon suggestions based on that new term. Then it added a B and a C and so on. This was a new addition to KDP Rocket so as to get Amazon to provide even more suggestions based on known market research. You can tell which ones are Amazon A through C suggested keywords because they do not have any data filled in. In order to see the numbers, you'll need to click the Analyze button. And finally, the last group is the Google suggested keywords. You can tell which ones are Google suggested keywords because the only numbers filled in automatically is the Google searches per month. Again, to get the rest of the numbers, you'll need to click Analyze. Although Google searches are very different than Amazon searches, these can still be very useful suggestions because they aren't dependent on previous Amazon success. Sometimes Google can suggest a new keyword that authors haven't thought of before or aren't very competitive, and it can give you an opportunity to discover a new market on Amazon, one that Amazon didn't suggest. And thanks to KDP Rocket's estimated Amazon searches per month number, you can now know which Google keyword suggestions might be a great addition to your book or a bad one. Without it, you'd be guessing and hoping that a different search engine's information will work for a different market. Now that we understand how KDP Rocket helps to gather keyword suggestions, let's look at the numbers it provides and learn about how to interpret them. The first is the number of competitors. This is the total number of books that will show up for an Amazon search using that keyword and thus give you an idea of how popular or targeted that term is. However, just because the number is high doesn't necessarily mean it is too competitive. In truth, for us to benefit from a keyword and get our book seen by shoppers, we want to make sure our book can show up on the first page results of an Amazon search, if not in the top five shown. That's why we created the competition score. This number goes from 1 to 99 with 1 being very easy and 99 being extremely hard. Basically it does all the hard work for you and figures out exactly how hard it would be to compete for that term. It analyzes the top 5 books that show up for a keyword and uses things like whether or not that keyword is in the title or subtitle, the popularity of the book, the number of reviews and review grades, and more in order to create that easy number for you. So what's a good number? Well, that really depends on you and your platform. If you're a new author with no email or fans, then it's best to stick to 40 and below. If you're a pretty seasoned author with some email subscribers and decent skills at advertising like AMS and Facebook, then 65 and below is good. However, if you're someone with a large following email subscriber list and you've been doing this for a while, then 90 and below is good too. But do understand that with the higher the number, the more work you're going to have to put in order to benefit from that. With this number, you can now easily compare two keywords and see which one will be easier to rank for and by how much. The next set of numbers is the average monthly earnings. This averages the top five books monthly earnings and provides it here. 
If this number is too low for you, then it means one of two things. Either A, there isn't much of a market for this keyword term and thus there are low sales. Or B, there is a market, but the market isn't fully pleased with the books that are shown to them. So how do we know which one it is? Well, that's where the estimated Amazon searches per month number comes in handy. With this number, you now know how many people are typing in a word or phrase into Amazon. Basically, you can quickly see if a keyword really does have a market or really will get Amazon shoppers to see your book. Before this number, authors were left guessing and hoping that the keyword they chose actually did get searched. Here's a great example of how the numbers from KDP Rocket can help you to understand your market and make better choices. At the time of this recording, I found the following numbers for fiction romance and then exported the data, something we'll cover later, and organized them to highlight some points. The first, let's look at these two terms here, second chance romance and second chance romance with baby. You may be saying to yourself that second chance romance with baby must be a typo, but it isn't. It actually makes sense. When we search for terms, we typically throw grammar out the window and randomly add things that best describe what we're looking for. In this case, a significant amount of shoppers type in second chance romance, but then as a last second thought, they add with baby. If you're not familiar with this type of romance, don't worry, neither was I. But second chance romance centers on a story where the spouse has died or left and the other spouse is left to pick up the pieces and find love again. However, as we see with data from KDP Rocket, there is a market that wants second chance romance stories, but specifically wants the spouse to have a child and thus the romance needs to be centered around a mother finding love again. As we can see from the data, there is a significant amount of monthly searches for this term, the competition is much lower than some of the other terms, and the book is on the subjects are selling very well. Let's look at another example. In this case, just looking at the differences in types of romances, we see that many of these terms are very competitive. However, I want to specifically look at rich man romance. If you were to just look at the monthly earnings and the competition score, like other book software would show you and only show you, you'd be led to believe that this is an incredible keyword. However, thanks to our Amazon searches per month number, we know this is not a good keyword at all. The books that rank for that term in Amazon are making money, yes, but they definitely aren't making money from this keyword because little to no people type it in into Amazon. Instead, those books are making sales from other keywords and marketing efforts. And we know this thanks to KDP Rocket. As you can see, with these numbers, you can quickly tell if books are making money, if there is an active market searching using that keyword on Amazon, and how hard it would be to beat the competition. Now imagine what it would be like trying to figure out your target keywords without this information. Not sure if what you're targeting even gets searched for, or whether or not it has a market. And finally, if you'd like to export that information, no problem. Just click the export button, name the file, tell your computer where you want it saved, and voila, you've got your data. So this concludes our introduction to the keyword search feature of KDP Rocket, where we learned how to find Amazon keywords and learned how to use the numbers. In the next video, we'll dive deeper into the competition analyzer feature. I'll see you there.